Hi, my name is Lisbeth and welcome to this series of tutorials on Video Stitch Studio. Video Stitch is a software that turns individual videos into one high resolution panoramic video. It usually covers a 360 by 180 degrees field of view in a world map of style. But there's also other geometric projections that you can export your video into, like the little planet effect as you can see on my desktop. So let's get to it. I will show you how to create a panoramic video. So I will open Video Search Studio. So this is how Video Search looks like when you first open it. What we do first is we import the videos. There's two ways to do it. Or you can open it here, open the videos. Or you can drag it into the screen, like I will do now. So here I have six individual individual videos. You want to also save your project after every step. You can save your project here. So the second step is that we'll synchronize the videos. Find synchronization here. There's three options to do this, audio, motion and flash. I'll go deeper on every option in the next tutorial. So in this video I will use motion based synchronization. This means that Video Stitch will detect all the different motion in each video and synchronize them. We use a trick here that will move the tripod around and Video Stitch will find all these movements and then synchronize them together. So you want to make sure you have all of them. So this will be enough, and then you click on motion. So now is a good time to save your project. Go to File, Save As, you can just call it Synchronization. You want to save it as a PTV project. Save. So now I move to the next step, which is Calibration. Calibration basically means that you'll create a stitching template for your video. There is here two options, there is automatic and there is a calibration from a file where you, you can use PT GUI or Huggin to create a stitching template. But I will go deeper on that also in another tutorial. So now I'll stick with the automatic calibration. Automatic calibration in Video Stitch works on three ways. I will show you how to use Calibrate on Frame Lists. Calibrate on sequence, that's when you select the sequence and then Video Stitch will calibrate based on this on the sequence. Calibrate here will calibrate on the current frame of your browser where it is on. So you want to select four good frames that represent your video. You want to make sure it's the frames are good. And then you, you just click on calibrate on frame list. So now you can see it's extracting control points, which means it will, it's detecting similar details and objects between the different images. So now our panorama is created, which means we can save the project again under calibration. So now we'll move to the next step, which is exposure compensation. Exposure compensation will make your video look better. You can see here that here it's darker blue and here it's lighter blue. And exposure compensation will compensate and see what is the best exposure for all your video. So you want to select all the video with this button and then you just adjust sequence. So now you can see the video much looks much better. So the next step now is stabilization. Stabilization will improve your video by stabilizing the images when the camera is shaking too much. When you use a tripod it's uh, not necessary to use the stabilization except when it's moving a lot like for example here on the boat. The camera is moving a lot with the boat so you want to stabilize that. So you just select your sequence and click on Compute. 
So now that civilization has been done, we can preview it. You can see in the timeline then nine that there is a change and the stabilization has been done. The next step is that we'll do the editing of the orientation. As we see here, we can close all of these widgets. Here we will level the horizon with just the left mouse button and the right mouse button. You can edit, you can level the horizon just as easy as this. You will see here in the timeline that there is keyframes created. So after you finish, you just put the blue grid off and then you go to process here. You can also check the interactive view here in your from your video. And you can see all around what's happening. So then we'll go to process. So and here you will can browse where you want to put your video process now. You can also send to batch. Or you can do a series of stitching after each other. So this was it for the workflow for Video Stitch Studio. Keep your eye on our YouTube channel for more videos and tutorials.